some idea. Offhand, I can't. Whose idea was it that you come here? A psychiatrist. And what happened that ended up with your being here in the hospital? The psychiatrist decided that this was the situation for me. Did he tell you why? No, the psychiatrist did not. Has anybody told you why? No. Have you any idea why?
spliffs and other you know, weird shit.
into the into hospitals which are so expensive it's cheaper to die into lawyers who charge so much it's cheaper to plead guilty into a country where the jails are full and the madhouses close into a place where the masses elevate fools into rich heroes born into this walking and living through this Frustrated, debauched, disinherited because of this. The fingers reach toward an unresponsive God. The fingers reach toward an unresponsive God. The fingers reach toward an unresponsive Unresponsive God. The fingers reach toward an unresponsive God. The fingers reach for the bottle, the pill, the powder. Open an unpunished murder in the streets.
sick of putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. <laughs>
Italian proverb, when four sit down to conspire, three of them are fools and the fourth is a government agent.
And the Warren Commission's magic bullet theory made no sense, but suddenly there arrived a lot of noise and confusion, and some of that was a result of Operation Mindfuck. Phoenix is the name of the CIA's biggest assassination project, and 420 is Hitler's birthday. So what is going on with you? McGowan sent me a manuscript titled Wagging the Moon Doggy, which claimed the moon landings were faked. Mindfucking created a huge problem and certainly played a role in keeping a lid on some dark deeds. Yes, attention. To help carry on our important work, I want you to join the secret squadron and wear this official badge. So, I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as bad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore! Stick your head out of the window, open it, and stick your head out and keep yelling and yell, I'm as mad as hell, I'm not going to take this anymore! Just get up from your chair right now! Go to Where the are you going? Everybody I want to see if anybody's yelling!
faster. Information is increasing, and the transmission of information is going faster and faster due to Internet and the whole computer revolution. Which means that most people are living in a world they can't understand. And when people can't understand something, they tend to go for sinister explanations of it. Somebody is manipulating things in a way I don't like. That's the way people feel when things change too fast and they can't understand it.
song, but actually it's an old hymn which we found in a hymn book that's sung by thousands of people all over this country. It's just our good fortune that it appears to be highly anti-psychiatric in nature. Tu 
pars en guerre avec quoi T'as oublié les fusils, espèce d'abruti Qu'est-ce que tu fais, elle T'en veux une tasse Tu pars en guerre avec quoi Tu pars en guerre avec quoi Tu pars en guerre avec quoi T'as oublié les fusils, espèce d'abruti T'as oublié les fusils, espèce d'abruti
people in the past couple of years, I think you have to be fairly reluctant indeed to not feel the flux, the change that is cascading into the historical process at this time.
people think their head is inside the universe. The universe is inside our heads, our head is outside the universe. This whole studio, for instance, it's, it's got to be inside my head or I wouldn't be aware of it. I've got a model of it inside my head. Now, inside that model of the studio is a model of me. And on top of the model of me is a model of my head. But that's not my real head. My real head contains the studio and my body and this model of the head. And it's the same with the whole universe. The, the whole universe is a model contained in my head, which contains a model of my head. So I've got two heads, the head outside the universe and the head inside the universe.
fundamentalist materialists as, as being something of a fanatic. Yet it seems that you're almost the opposite. Reality is extremely slippery for you. I don't get the feeling that you're stuck on any one model of reality. Yeah, I have been accused of being a fanatic. And the people who accuse me of being possessed by devils are, well, the type of fundamentalist who rolls around and speaks in tongues and gives all the signs of being possessed by the devil themselves. I think I, I basically I'm a mirror. When a monkey looks in, no philosopher looks out.